Dear students, in today's video, we are going to discuss one example of reducible to exact differential equation type, right? In previous video, we have already seen what is exact differential equation, how to solve exact differential equation. So now we are going to discuss example of reducible to exact. Before that, we will revise few things and then we will move further, right? Since you should know those basic things. So when you have differential equation in this form, m dx plus n dy is equal to 0, m and n functions of x and y. If you have differential equation in this form, first we check whether partial derivative of m with respect to y is same as partial derivative of n with respect to x. We check these two partial derivatives are same or not. If they are same, then we say the differential equation is exact. If they are not same, we say the differential equation is non-exact. But see, if you have non-exact differential equation, you can convert it into exact differential equation by multiplying one factor that is called integrating factor. So there are four different methods of finding integrating factor in previous videos we have already seen. So let us start with this example. We will check whether it is exact or not first, right? So M m means multiple of dx. So here the multiple of dx is 2y. So I should write we have m is 2y, right? So actually the given differential equation in the same format. Simply here we have written dx first and here the second term is dx, dy second term and here the dy is first term, right? So what will be n? Will you tell me n? n is equal to what? n is multiple of dy. So the multiple of dy is this entire bracket 2x log x minus xy. So we got m and n. Okay. So now we will find this partial derivatives and we will check whether th those are same or not. So partial derivative of m with respect to y. So partial derivative of m. What is my m? 2y. So you know that if there are any constants, we take them outside. The 2 is constant will come outside derivative of y 2 into derivative of y is 1 so the answer is 2 so i got the partial derivative of m with respect to y now the second is derivative of n with respect to x now i'm finding the second partial derivative n with respect to x but see as you can see in n there are two terms and those are separated by minus sign that means we can take separate separate partial derivatives so derivative of 2x log x minus derivative of xy, right? After that, what will I do uh, by taking par separate partial derivatives? If there are any constants, I always take outside. 2 is constant will come outside. So derivative of x log x. And here y is constant since we are differentiating with respect to x. So it will come outside. So inside we have just x only. So now we have to find its derivative. But see there is a product x and log x. These are two different functions. There is a product multiplication of these two functions and we are finding derivative. So when you have product of two functions, we have to apply product rule of derivative u into v formula. That is u into derivative of v plus v into derivative of u. Some people say it's first into derivative of second plus second into derivative of first. So this formula I'm going to use. So you can consider this is our u and this log x is our p. So let us apply the formula. So 2x derivative of what? Log x first into derivative of second plus log x as it is derivative of x. Getting? u into derivative of v plus v into derivative of u. Yeah, let us move further. Minus y. Derivative of x with respect to x is 1, obviously. 1. Okay, so let us simplify it further. 2. x. Derivative of log x is 1 by x plus log x. Derivative of x with respect to x, 1. y into 1, y. Okay, so now simply we have to solve this bracket. We'll get the answer. Okay, so just a minute. Let me remove this part. Let us continue the next part here. Okay. So this is equal to 2 
what will happen this xx will get cancelled we'll have simply 1 plus log x into 1 log x minus y so if you want you can solve the bracket huh 2 into 1 2 plus 2 log x if you keep as it is doesn't matter uh, okay uh, that will be also okay so now we got the two partial derivatives dab m by dab y and dab m by dab x now we have to check whether those are same or not so you can clearly see these are two different things so that means this is non-exact differential equation so let me mention therefore dab m by dab y is not equal to dab n by dab x implies differential equation is non-exact then what we do we will convert okay it is non-exact it's okay but we will convert this differential equation into exact differential equation but how can we convert so by multiplying okay we need to multiply the given differential equation by one factor that is called integrating factor now the question is how shall we find integrating factor so there are four different methods i will write those methods in short here huh deba m by deba y minus deba n by deba x upon n if this is a function of x only then integrating factor is e raised to integration f of x dx if deba n by deba x minus deba m by deba y upon m if this is function of y only then integrating factor is e raised to integration f of y dy okay so exactly opposite thing we have we interchange the roles here dab m by dab y second dab n by dab x first n replaced by m here x we have a function of y only so these are two rules two more rules are there third the differential equation should be in this format f1 of xy dx plus x f2 of xy dy is equal to zero the differential equation given differential equation should look like this f1 of xy that means xy 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 should appear okay in pair there should not be a single x there should not be any single y if the differential equation this format then we go for rule number three okay actually the rule four is applicable if the given differential is homogeneous homogeneous that means degree same degree of each term is same getting so generally what we do when we get non-exact differential equation we start with rule number four since it is quite easy if it is applicable then we will not go for all remaining three rules it will complete our task that fourth rule will be help us to convert the ex non-exact differential equation into exact if it is not applicable then we will go for rule number three if that is also not applicable then we go for rule number one and two since in case of one and two you need to solve without solving you cannot decide which rule is applicable that's a problem it's time taking uh, process getting so generally we start with four three and both are uh, both cannot work then only we go for rule number one and two homogeneous let us check homogeneous or not power of x is one log is there you cannot find degree x into y power will be combined power will be two y power one so each term has different different power so that's why the given differential equation is not homogeneous rule number four is not applicable right rule number three xy 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 should appear getting xy 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 but here we have just y only xy is there but inside log we don't have xy everywhere you should have xy xy but see here uh, in log we have just x only there also it is expected to have xy so it is not in this format so third rule is also not applicable so we have just last two options either rule one or two so without solving we cannot decide so i will start with i will go with rule number one we will check whether it is applicable or not so consider what is rule number one deba m by deba y minus deba n by deba x upon n okay i need to put the values here actually the space is not enough to complete the problem so that's why i'm removing this part see in previous videos i have already covered all these things four rules we have already discussed in details in previous videos okay so if you want to learn those things in details you can watch my previous videos let us move further uh dab m by dab y what is it dab m by dab y just two only two minus dab m by dab x this is dab m by dab x two plus two log x minus y right upon n what is my n 2x log x 
टू एक्स लॉग एक्स राइट माइनस एक्स वाई सो वी नीड टू सॉल्व टू इफ देर इज माइनस साइन आउट साइड वेन यू सॉल्व द ब्रैकेट साइन विल गेट चेंज माइनस टू माइनस टू लॉग एक्स प्लस वाई अपॉन टेल मी कैन आई टेक कॉमन एक्स वी कैन टेक कॉमन हियर वी कैन टेक एक्स कॉमन एक्स टू लॉग एक्स माइनस वाई वॉट कैन वी कैंसल हियर this 2 and minus 2 will get cancelled okay so this is the remaining part but see we should have just function of x only there should not be any y otherwise rule the one is not applicable so we will check whether can we cancel few terms uh, so i will take minus sign common here minus common so 2 log x if you take minus sign outside this sign will get change you will have minus y x 2 log x minus y tell me can we cancel anything Yes, definitely that bracket will get cancelled. Okay, this bracket. I'm so much happy if I get cancelled uh, anything, right? So yes, so that will get cancelled, and you will have simply minus one by x. And the same thing we want. We want just function of x only, and we got it. So that means the rule one is definitely applicable here, right? Okay, let us move further. Rule one is applicable. Uh, we are so much happy since we got the. Uh, we are very close to the answer then so yeah still task is not finished we have to find integrating factor whose formula is e raised to integration f of x dx so e raised to integration my f of x is minus 1 by x dx so generally what i do if i if i get any constant i take outside so minus sign we can take outside if you take minus outside inside the integration you have 1 by x its integration is log x integration of 1 by x is log x see there is one famous property of log that n log a is equal to log a raised to n that means if you have anything as a multiple of log you can write as a power of a okay you can shift to the power similarly minus sign also we can shift here a raised to log x raised to minus 1 so we will get benefit that e and log we can cancel and you will have x raised to minus 1 that means simply 1 by x so the integrating factor is 1 by x we got it it means if you multiply the given differential equation by 1 by x it will be converted into exact differential equation and after getting exact differential equation we have a fixed method to find its solution right so let me mention multiplying multiplying given differential equation by 1 by x so now i want some more space to write just make a screenshot of it now i am multiplying given differential equation by 1 by x so let us see therefore 1 by x so x will be in denominator 2x log x minus xy upon x so we are multiplying by 1 by x so obviously it will come in denominator 2y by x dx is equal to 0 okay so yes so this is exact differential equation so this is exact differential equation so we multiplied the given differential equation by integrating factor so now it is converted into exact if you want to check you can cross check How to check it is exact. Dab n by dab by y should be same as dab n by dab by x. You can take our new m, new n, and you can check it is exact or not. But definitely it is exact. In exam, it is not expected to solve it again to show it again. You can directly declare by multiplying integrating factor we get exact. M we want new m, new exact differential equation, new m multiple of dx is our m. Two y upon x new n. Multiple of dy is our n two x log x minus x y upon x. My suggestion is to divide them separately, so uh, we'll have the better thing. Two x log x upon x minus x y upon x. So x x will get cancelled. Two log x here also x will get cancelled. Y only. So this is new m and new n. so now we have exact differential equation the solution is integration m dx plus integration n dy is equal to c this is a solution here y constant and here free from x 
free from x okay so this is the solution so simply the solution of exact differential equation is addition of two integrals what will i do i will solve those integrations separately and finally we will put in a solution so now integration m treating y constant with respect to dx what is my m my m is 2y upon x dx what will i do uh, 2y is a constant we have already mentioned y is constant 2y is a constant it will come outside 2y will come outside and we will have 1 by x you know integration of 1 by x integration of 1 by x is log x log x so let me mention just a minute huh yes let us use this space integration of 1 by x is log x so this is equal to 2y log x that's it finish so the first integration is over let us go for the second now the second integration is terms in n terms in n free from x that means terms of n which do not contain okay terms which do not contain x so let us see n see in n there are two terms this first term and this second term the first term contains x so you cannot take but the second term does not contain x so you, that's why you can take here so it is minus y dy minus will come outside integration of y okay integration of y so this formula i'm going to use integration of x raised to n is x raised to n plus 1 upon n plus 1 if you have any power we should increase it by 1 so power is not there that means power of y is 1 so yes so simply y raised to 1 dy so integration will be minus y square by 2 we increase it by 1 and the same power we write in denominator so let me mention the solution so therefore then solution is integration m treating y constant dx plus integration terms in n free from x dy is equal to c the value of the first integration is uh, yes we have got 2y log x minus sorry plus uh, terms in n free from x but see we have got its value minus y square by 2 so it is y square by 2 is equal to c so this is required answer okay this is required answer let me highlight it by drawing box around it it's that's it finish so in this way we have finished this problem so now what i'm going to do i'm going to give you one problem as an exercise for you getting so by watching this video you supposed to try one problem on your own and in case of difficulty i'm going to solve that problem homework problem in my next video if you have any difficulty you can watch my next video so uh, just make a screenshot of it and then we will move further so this is a practice problem right you can try on your own okay and uh, you can uh, want any help you can watch my next video or if you got the answer you can cross check your answer by watching the next video okay so we'll stop here thank you see you in next video